I got my vaccine. Good morning everybody and happy Saturday. I am just like so happy today. I think, I think I'm having a really great day and I hope this continues. Um, it's really sunny right now. It's not too hot, but it'll give my plants some well needed sunshine. So I really had to give them a good water this morning because it's quite a bit warmer than it has been the last few weeks. But thankfully, thankfully, it's not as hot as it is in Canada and in America right now. I cannot even imagine how terrible that must be. But I have some really good news. So first of all, my zucchinis are ready to harvest. I have quite a few that are getting pretty big and I wanna harvest them before they get too big because then I think they can be a little bit bitter and apparently they're just like nicer to eat when they're smaller. So I need to cook something with them for lunch and I don't really know what I should cook with them. I really just planted a bunch of stuff and not really having a plan with how I'm going to prepare everything. So I need to search for a recipe that I can make with them. It's, it's warmer so I don't wanna make like a hot meal or like pasta or anything is too hot for that. So I need to find a good like hot weather type recipe for zucchini. And then we're gonna go to the farmer's market to get some stuff because it's Saturday so the farmer's market is going this morning. I hope we can make it in time. We're kind of rushing to get there. Yeah, but I'm really excited about that because we haven't actually been able to go to the farmer's market for quite some time now and I'm really curious to see if they have any summer things that are a little different so we'll see and my other huge big news is that starting on July 5th I will be legally able to travel back home to Canada after I'm fully vaccinated so at this point I'm just so happy that I can without staying in a quarantine hotel because like I can't afford to stay in a quarantine hotel so now I'm just waiting to get vaccinated and I have my first appointment booked on Monday so Monday I'm getting my first dose and I'm so excited I will update you guys in the next vlog about that but it's just very very exciting because I have been waiting over a year and a half now to be able to travel back home and that's too long. We are slowly getting through this and yeah. I, I really hope though that people start working together a bit more. Like I know that the wealthy countries are getting those vaccinations out but I am worried about the less wealthy countries and I hope that we can work together to beat this as a global community but nonetheless I am you know I'm I'm very grateful that I was able to get an appointment to get my vaccine and yeah I guess all we can really do is hope that the other countries can also get some opportunities but nonetheless let's go to the farmers market Okay, so we just got back from the farmer's market and it was interesting because 
I guess a new regulation is that you don't have to wear a mask outside at the farmers markets but because I am not vaccinated yet we were still wearing them of course um, so let me show you guys what we got so this is everything unfortunately like everything came in plastic but we are gonna just reuse them all as like garbage bags and stuff so first thing we got some apple juice from this one farmer and it's like freshly pressed apple juice it's gonna be so good we also got some apples from the same man um trying out some different ones they didn't have boss cop but um apparently these ones are similar we got some apricots and i i don't know if i've actually had like ripe apricots i've always had them dried so i'm really excited for these and every time we go we also go to this place that has like cheese and olives and stuff so we got these two like spreadable cheeses this one is with basil and the other one is tomato and those are going to be so good we got some olives some black and green ones also in here is like a big block of feta cheese with some sauce and herbs and spices and stuff and then the man always gives us bread just like for free like he always asks if he can just give us bread after we pay for everything and he just gave us like a bag full of bread everyone was very kind and i don't know i i feel like i never really know what to do when people want to give like free things because he did that he did the same thing last time we were there too so i i I don't know, I want to pay the fair price because I want to support them. I think it's because we always go when they're starting to close, and so they probably just had leftovers and gave them to us, so I'm very thankful for that. And this is going to make an amazing lunch. I'm also going to make a salad to go with it. I think I'm going to grill the zucchinis. And we also have some sugar peas, which I will cut up and add to the salad. We're debating if we want to go for a picnic because it's nice weather, but it is really hot. So we might go to the park and have a little picnic with our bread and spreadable cheese and fruit. And it would be really nice. So we might do that. Good morning guys, it's now a Monday morning and uh, I woke up pretty early this morning. I'm like nervously excited because I get my shot today and uh, it's just so nice. And last night was so wonderful to spend some time with family. 
So we were celebrating the birthday from my sister-in-law and everyone there is fully vaccinated. I was the only person who wasn't fully vaccinated. And then afterwards we went for this really nice evening walk and uh, it just like made me so happy because just like the landscape in Germany is so beautiful and you know that was just really put out there last night just the sunset and in the hills it was so so nice you guys it was beautiful I'm gonna try and film a little bit when I'm getting my shot <laughs> maybe try and document that because um, I'm really excited about it and I think it's important to share because it's important for people to actually get the shot if they have the opportunity to. So I will see you guys in the vaccination station. And just like that, I got my vaccine. So this vlog has lasted many days now and so I thought as I sit in front of these roses I will finally wrap it up and yeah I kind of want to talk about some things with the vaccines because it's been kind of heavy on my heart especially in the last few months like as vaccine rollouts have been so good in some countries and also so bad in other countries and you know I guess kind of my opinion is that there has been a lot of inequality around the vaccines and you know because wealthy countries obviously have the money to pay for lots of vaccines more vaccines than they need when a big a, when a good chunk of the population doesn't even want vaccines and so it's always just so sad to think of you know all the people who want vaccines and probably won't be able to get them for maybe even years to come it's a scary thing because there's a lot of people estimating that you know some countries they won't be vaccinated until like 2024 so you know as much as we want to celebrate in our countries where people are getting vaccinated and where things are going back to normal you know just remember that that's not the case for most of the world and i really just want to encourage you guys to go out and get your vaccine if it's a possibility and you know don't take that for granted because there are millions and millions of other people who would love to take a vaccine and they they just can't so that's it, that's all, that's what I wanted to say. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye.